Welcome to Visuals Kingdom! My name is Nick Metzger and in today's video I'm gonna show you how you can match the colors of different clips with the new color matching feature in Adobe Premiere CC 2018. This is especially useful if you have shots from the same location but at a different time of day. Or if you just fucked up your white balance. But it's really important to know that color matching gives you a pretty good starting point but will never be the final result. Okay, so let's dive right into Premiere. All right, so now in my timeline, I got a clip of me reading something, and this is color balanced pretty well in comparison to the other shot, which is way off. It's way too blue, as you can see. So what I can do now is either use Lumetri and try to match the colors manually, or use the new feature and make it pretty easily. So I go into Lumetri color here on the right side, and go into color wheels and match. Now the structure of this is actually pretty simple. You got uh, the button comparison view, which gives you the option of a side-by-side -side view from your reference image and your current clip. You can choose vertical um, split or you can choose horizontal split. And most of the time you will use multiple of those depending on what the shot looks like but I'm, I think I'm gonna use side by side and maybe horizontal split then you got face detection you can check that if you have persons in the frame and you want to prevent the skin tones skin tones from being changed or you can uncheck it it does a pretty good job but it's not like perfect and then you got the apply match button you will want to press that to apply the match. Also important, um, under the reference image, you get a time code. This defines uh, which image or which clip is your reference image. So if I, I'm here at the moment at 23 seconds, so if I put in 23, my um, not so well balanced clip will now be the reference image. But since I want to match it to the good one, I'm gonna put back in the original time code, seven seconds, where I have a perfectly balanced clip. So now, since I have a personal shot, I'm gonna check the face detection box and apply the match. We'll analyze for a bit. And now you will see that something's changed here in the color wheels. It is a pretty good starting point, but it's not perfect yet. You can see that the shadows are way too red and the highlights are not yellow, are not uh, yellow enough yet. <clears throat> so I'm gonna pull up the highlights into the yellow area and pull down the shadows into the blues. All right. Gonna give a bit more yellow to the highlights. <clears throat> And you now got a shot which is matched like pretty good. If you go into, into the horizontal split view, you can see that the current image, the current clip, is a bit darker than the reference clip. So what I'm gonna do is either I can drag up on the bar right here next to midtones, but this will play with the contrast as well. So what I will do, I go into basic correction and pull up the exposure until the, the split line here uh, vanishes. So that looks pretty good to my eye. I'm gonna go back into the side by side view. And you can now see that the highlights in the current clip are a bit off. They look way more greenish or yellowish than the ones on the left. But all the rest is matched pretty good. Now this is a very, very extreme example. If I uh, disable the effect, you can see it's so blue. There is no chance something like that would happen on set or when you go out and shoot. So I think I can live with the, with the highlight failure because the rest does look pretty good. So um, basically that's already it. At the moment I got the Lumetri color on my clip, directly on my clip. So if I have multiple clips like that, and I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna disable the, the Lumetri color. 
Uh, let me copy it first. So I'm gonna disable it and then duplicate my clip. If it works. Like that. Maybe three times. Then you can go into new item down here in the bottom left. Select adjustment layer. Put that adjustment layer above all your clips you want to match and then simply hit command V to, um, to apply the correction we made before. Now you can see all three of these clips are matched to the reference clip. That's it for today's tutorial. I showed you how you can match like unbalanced clips to color balanced clips and how to edit them into one scene. Thank you so much for watching the whole video. I hope you learned something. And if you did, hit the like button below and also subscribe to our channel to help us help more people. With Visuals Kingdom, we're gonna build a huge creator community all around the world and hope to help as many people as possible. See you guys next week.